So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video on Libra Ascendant and in-depth information on Libra Ascendant. And, you know, this is something that you can literally go in deep with every Ascendant, which I will be doing in a couple of months on my academy, uh, talking about secrets of Ascendance. Okay, and this is one of the methods to understand what it, just an ascendant is doing. Why is it that ascendant is there? And somebody actually commented when I said, you know, I'm going to be making this video. Somebody said, oh, wait, Kian Rao has this ascendant. Um, one of the greatest Vedic astrologers of all time, whom I desperately want to make a documentary on. But of course, I can't be in India. And nobody else is taking these steps. Hopefully somebody is. We don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they are taking his interviews. Maybe they are talking about his understanding of astrology, his life, his daily routines, what he does. Just to have, you know, kind of like a journal of a great modern day yogi of Jyotish. So anyway, Libra. Why it struck me with Libra? Because it's not just Kan Rao. Do you know, I actually noticed this in quite a few charts that Libra ascendant people are naturally gravitate towards spiritual wisdom, spiritual life. There's a very good amount of people that I've come across, whether even if it was a career reading. And of course, last week I came across another one. I'm like, okay, this is. This is something we should discuss, you know, um, because this person was literally living a life of a monk in a way. So Libra Ascendant, why first of all, and this is where once you understand something, once you get it, you know, like once you get it, like why? It's like that original spark that comes in your head. And that is the most stimulating moment in anyone's life. It's not actually big money or something material. It's that when that, 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 that particular original analysis comes in without any outside interference. And so in this particular case, one thing that makes Libra very spiritual people is because their Prarabdha has to do with spirituality if you get what I'm saying because the sixth house is a house of Prarabdha Karma meaning something that a person needs to fulfill something that a person was lacking through previous lives something that was unfinished through previous life that has to be accomplished and so what is sixth from Pisces uh, from uh, Libra well I just said it it's Pisces Pisces is the sixth sign from Libra. So when you have a Libra ascendant, Pisces will naturally rule the sixth house. Which means regardless of who the individual is, their prarabdha is to dwell into spiritual knowledge, akashic knowledge. Knowledge which is kind of like away from the social norms of society. This is why also Libra represents very creative people because they their prarabdha becomes to deal with abstract knowledge, abstract thinking, abstract imagination, which Libra is. So this is why Libra people, you know, you will find a lot of them, especially when Jupiter, the sixth Lord, is in a very strong placement, whether it's exalted in the sign of Aquarius, sign of Leo, or Sagittarius. This is going to become one of those placement of uh, this chart where a person will just easily fall into the footsteps and the doorsteps of spirituality. And then at the same time, you got to understand, Libra becomes a junction. Libra becomes a junction point between the inner and outer world. Number one, because it is right in the seventh house before the sixth house and start of the eighth house. 
एट्थ थ्रू ट्वेल्थ हाउस और सेवन्थ थ्रू ट्वेल्थ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ द एक्सटीरियर वर्ल्ड एक्सटीरियर साधना मीनिंग द वर्क दैट हैज टू बी डन इन सोसाइटी द फर्स्ट हाउस टू सिक्स हाउस बिकम्स द हाउस ऑफ ग्रोइंग अप एंड लर्निंग थिंग्स सो लीब्रा इज दिस मिडल डिविजन दैट शोज एस द चाइल्ड इज बिकमिंग इन टू एन अडल्ट ओके द इंटीरियर गोज इन टू एक्सटीरियर feminine becomes masculine because if you look around libra both of the signs before libra and after libra are controlled by feminine signs virgo and scorpio yet libra is a masculine sign but the thing is the influence the invisible influence of the two zodiac sign makes this into that balance sign when it comes to that gender um neutrality this person just has that ability to relate to that feminine person and that masculine person so and and the, the way we just understand this is because the subconscious of libra is feminine why because second from libra okay is scorpio 12th from libra is virgo libra itself is masculine but it's subconscious because it's the left and right brain the 12th and 6th from any sign is the left and right brain this ida and pingala of that particular sign and so even though this is going to be a individual who exerts strong masculine nature but that drive for that masculine nature you know it's kind of um manifested through that feminine energy so when this person takes some masculine action usually you will see it will be for the balancing of some feminine you know um energy or feminine uh equality outside for example this person could be a fighter soldier wrestler but they have that feminine side meaning that even though i am this masculine person i have to give out entertainment i have to kind of please the crowd before i win the match kind of like from that movie gladiator win the crowd and you win the match and you can't do that without creativity masculine side does not have the creativity it is the feminine side that comes in and naturally this is the sign of libra which is ruled by shukra and this is the actual home of shukra meaning venus venus who is the guru of gurus venus is above when it comes to siddhis tantric siddhis magical siddhis you know siddhis of literally dealing with sentient beings it's venus not jupiter jupiter can be well jupiter is that person the guru who's well versed in the upanishads jupiter will give you all the quotes of the vedas jupiter will show you how to live your life but those particular things that you experience outside of those five senses the master of that is venus jupiter has it but jupiter has it in a very subtle way but it's venus libra the actual home of libra where all of these things happen and this is why you will also see people with libra ascendant not only get interested in magic rituals but they are very very easily able to get into some form of initiation into some kind of uh you know placid divinity they can get into some kind of you know initiation into let's say mantras some kind of a breathing exercise you know um some kind of ritualistic actual rituals to attain something and 
This is the sign of union. Remember, Libra is a sign of union. Why Libra? Think about it with what I've just said. Why Libra ascendant and Libra zodiac sign is the sign related to unionship because of the fact on one side you have the sixth house which is that child adolescence growing up and then the other is that adult that adulthood that exteriorhood and at the same time libra is representing the middle of both of these which represents literally the coming together of ida and pingala with the Shushunna. Libra is that Shushunna Nadi, that, that actual vein, that invisible vein within the spine that raises the Kundalini and activates all the chakra to the 100% of their capacity and energy. And this is why, you know, you will see Libra people actually being easily able to capture that particular part of spirituality which is just the start see the thing about kundalini awakening third eye awakening opening your thousand lotus petal that's not the end that is the beginning that is the beginning and so the libra person knows that this is a balanced approach i need to take this is not the end this is the beginning and i have to take care of my this world and at the same time, I'm progressing towards the other world. They know how to balance. Some ascendant, some zodiac sign will not balance that. They will go into extreme of something. They'll go into extreme of something. That, okay, that's it. Now this is my path. I'm going to leave my family. I'm going to leave everybody. Now, and that's it. This is my thing. Unless, of course, a Libra ascendant from the beginning didn't have a family and responsibility of such things. They will not be leaving that. And especially like you will also see, just like Libra, even Cancer Ascendants, their Prarabdha is Sagittarius. Straight with the Guru. So for the Cancer Ascendant, naturally we'll discuss that later, but their Prarabdha also becomes something to do with this. But, but Libra, this is one of the most, um, you know, clairvoyant aspect of this Ascendant. Is that their, their entire aim has to be towards spirituality. Now it becomes difficult. If Jupiter, the sixth from Libra, is not in a well-placed position. This person may be lost. They may be lost in the glitz and glamour of the Tinseltown. Instead of their Asan. They may be dwelling into the world of business and entrepreneurship. So then... You look at the other side of Libra. Okay. Here Libra trying to merge. And I'm not ta talking about like literally merging the Ida and Pingala. But they're trying to merge with the, with the world. For them, everything is that thing that will connect. And what happens is, directly opposite to Libra becomes Aries. Okay? The sign of Aries is there, which is what? Individual. The ego. The ego of fire. And this is where, you know, a Libra person, you will see that they will always have to take that time to... Kind of make sure that that fire that they're attracting, which is directly opposite to them, you know, can merge into their ira. Because otherwise, normally people will always attract somebody who is going to be um, kind of self-serving. Kind of focused on the self and the physical. Kind of focused on the rajasic and the tamasic side of life, which is to attain sustenance, okay, which is rajasic, and to defeat the competition and to just steer clear or clear the competition and the obstacles in front of them 
okay, which again becomes a tamasic value because somebody has to be hurt. Somebody has to lose in order for you to win in life. And that this is why that becomes a challenge. It's a very polar opposite challenge with Libra. Here, Libra wanting to find unionship. Shukra wanting that Shukra's energy to merge in with the river. And here the river hits either the volcanic fire or a rock. Okay. And this is why you see, or this is why I have observed that Libra ascendant people, why they pick spiritual life, why they focus on that spiritual life, which ultimately fulfills their Prarabdha. Remember, it is all about the Prarabdha. The reason for your birth becomes the sixth from your ascendant. And sixth from every planet. And especially for a Libra, you know, for them, their profession, for them, their professional titles, their professional accomplishments, their desire is to accomplish them from privacy of their own space. For such people, career cannot be for the sake of career, unless the career is felt in the heart, they are not going to feel any joy, forget even joy, they will not even do that particular thing. And especially the thing is, this particular part of the career that I have to pick something from the heart really gets more enabled through the mother. The mother that they would get, because you, they will get a very professional, hardworking mother. Perhaps the mother who may not have been able to give this individual the nourishment that they needed and wanted because, again, the professional work came into play. And because of those interactions where they saw that experience of emptiness growing up, they saw more about money, career, status, less about the emotions and nourishment, then they take on that opposite quality when it comes to their own career. Because again, you grow up seeing some things, right? Experiencing something. And we always tend to, whenever we have a bad experience, you always tend to do the opposite. That is what you're always striving for, that I don't want to go through those experiences now that I'm an adult. So what happens? Because of the fact Libra has cancer in the 10th, they're only going to do something from the heart. They're only going to do something when they have an emotion in it. They have their heart into it. They have their tears into that work. Now, this doesn't mean that Libra has to do something very, you know, cliche in terms of like creativity, arts, because usually those things come from heart. Healing comes from heart. No, this person can be an accountant. For example, they have Venus Mercury conjunction in the first or second house, and their Arth, the Lord, you know, here somehow becomes Jupiter. Then, or Dharma Lord becomes Jupiter, or Arth Lord becomes Mercury. Then you know this is an accountant, but they take pleasure in servicing their work, servicing their clients you know, by giving them that final outcome that they were looking for, giving them, them that satisfaction through their ability to crunch numbers. So let's not get carried away that this is only uh, satisfaction that the Libra is going to get is through doing something related to cancer. No, it could be anything. It could be this person could be a mortician. You know, this person could be a pathologist. But th that, that heart has to be in it because when they grew up, from the first house, second house, third house, and the fourth house, they kind of saw that turbulence and they saw that transformation. They saw that coldness. So now they want to pick something through which they can serve, through which they can nourish and feel nourished. Now, if other thing you also notice is that 
the heart of Libra is Rahu. Rahu is at the heart of Libra. Okay. And this is why these people have to break through in life. They have to always somehow break through society. This is why it becomes those particular ascendant of either a spiritualist or somebody who goes directly to the opposite. You know, perhaps somebody who becomes a punk rocker. You know, somebody who likes to dig graves so they can put people's body in. But it is going to be that Rahu element in the heart. And depending upon Rahu's placement in the chart, it'll show how, what are they trying to break through. Because again, Swati is about freedom. Swati is about, you know, this, this stem of grass, just going from one place to the other. It's free. It's not confined by any rules, regulations. It is free. And this is what that Urja in Libra is. That Urja for freedom. And how do you get freedom? There's a freedom that you break from the shackles of society. You know, by becoming independent. Then there's that shackles of this actual world that you break through spiritual devotion and spiritual practice. Because foundation is Shukra. Venus, which is devotion. But then Rahu becomes the heart because this nakshatra is right in the middle. And Rahu, in the way, is one of the best students of Shukra. But Rahu is also known as a Rakshasa, demon, meaning Asura. And at the same time, Rahu is the one who saved Earth when it went underwater. You know, so there is that antagonist and protagonist side of Rahu. And this is why you have to kind of carefully judge. What is the aim? What is in the heart of this person who's ascendant I'm looking at? What is it? What do they want? And this is where then, if you look at the chart of K and Rao, he's a Libra ascendant with Rahu, which is the heart of Libra, is in the 6,000 Pisces. And receives the aspect of Jupiter. So Rahu is really trying to break free through spiritual knowledge, through higher knowledge, through higher sages and gurus. But at the same time, you know, Libra, Libra folks, their subconscious, their subconscious is very meticulous. It is very practical. You know, um, they don't keep their um, eyes of uh, doubt closed. They keep their eyes of doubts, you know, open. They're like, okay, I'm looking for spirituality, but I don't want to get stuck into this, this world of fluff and illusion and scam and magic. I'm here to see the real thing. So they will. They won't blindly be like, yes, you're telling me that you are this thing and I'm going to believe you. And yes, I love that because now I found somebody to believe in. No, they'll be like, why should I believe in this person? What is it? They will keep that open. They will keep that subconscious eye open. Because again, dwelt from Libra is Virgo. The subconscious is all about the details. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. And this is why it's actually, they, they, they usually end up with a genuine teacher and a guru because they know their eye of perception is not watery. It's very logic. It's the highest of intelligence of Mercury. And because Mercury is Venus's friend, it helps Mercury with the subconscious. Mars is very neutral, the sign of Scorpio. So they definitely have to deal with that turbulence within the family early in life. Now, just like I gave the example of Libra, remember the subconscious part of Libra. You can see the subconscious part of the spouse of this individual. 
because the subconscious part of this individual will be connected with Jupiter and Venus. The planet of pleasure, food, luxury, and the planet of money, finance, discipline, father, higher divinity. And the middle part for Aries, which is directly opposite to Libra, then again becomes that masculine energy. Libra is a very first masculine sign. And left of it and the right of it are those feminine energies. And their feminine side, because it's a fire, not air of Libra, where air is about that information, catching that information, curious about that information. Fire is about, you know, materializing something, dealing with the material. So this is why that Aries individual, well, their subconscious will be with money, pleasure, sustenance, okay? But also, we do see that that opposite does get influenced somehow. There will be a strong influence of the father or some teacher into their spouse's life. And this is some of the very profound ways of understanding things in astrology. Or you can even see, like, with our planet, what is it that the individual will experience? You know? So, and I can, again, I can, you know, keep going on and on with every house, but then this is going to become a hour-long video, you know. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of discuss certain, the one of the main things that I noticed with Libra Ascendant specifically. And any time an Atma Karka, meaning planet with the highest degree, is in Libra, or even when their Karakamsha Lagna is Libra, KL, or when their Arudha Lagna is Libra. The, these particular four parameters, actually, I would say three birth ascendant, Atma Karka, and Arudha Lagna. I haven't, I have seen it, but not as much with the KL. But these three points in your chart, or not in your chart, but these three points in a person's chart will lead to that prarabdha of spiritual focus. And when, like I said, when Jupiter is not in a good shape, they will go towards the material life, but they will always feel like, why can't I understand divinity? Why is it that I am not getting what these people are getting? Why is it that these people are getting a joy, going to a temple, going to a church, going to a mosque and praying, and I'm not? Why? What's, what's happening here? You know? And again, you have to look at the actual chart to see if they can break through from that, you know, cycle of being stuck. Perhaps they could break through at one point through a particular dasha through a particular time period, or maybe for a little while through a transit, they may understand it and then go back again. But like I said, this, this is your Prarabdha. This is, as a Libra, this is going to be, you know, your salvation, your, your pilgrimage. Your pilgrimage is your Prarabdha. You're going to have to take this journey. It, because if it's incomplete, it's going to have to be coming back again immediately to finish it. You know, so even if you have a bad Jupiter, I say you go for it. You, you struggle for it, but at least finish it. You know, it's like your parents, you know, scolded you, slapped you, made sure that you passed that exam. And after 10 years, you look back, you know, I'm actually glad I kind of graduated from college. If my parents didn't do this. At least I can now say it, even though I have no interest still. But it, it, it kind of, I got it. So go for that. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my small analysis of Libra, Zodiac sign and Ascendant. And of course, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. If you want to know everything about your chart and my books, consultations for that, check out the links here. 
karisastrology.com where you'll also find the link to my academy, Magavid Astrology Academy. And of course, when you join any course, it will help me to make the next movie, which I'm actually trying to refine the script of. It may not really be Saturn, but it is something connected with astrology. It is, it just came to me, you know, the, the story. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.